Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. I have Troy back on the channel today. Remember Troy had that really cool schoolie toy hauler? Well, now he's got this 1995 Chevy G30 conversion van. He's gonna give us a tour of today. So join us. Hello, Troy, and welcome back to New Jersey Outdoor Adventures. Awesome, thank you so much for having me back. My name is Troy Peterson, and my Instagram is RubiconJK. This here is my 1995 camper van um, done by Coachman with a Viking top. And this van is one of a kind and amazing. Uh, so a little bit about this van. I purchased this from my neighbor that was up the road. It was a one-time owner from them and wanted to go on a cross-country trip with my grandfather. He's 81 years old and just a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So I went ahead and purchased this van and um, I bought it one day. I drove it to Weehawken and back to make sure it was okay. I got back, it made it, and I said, all right, Grandpa, we're leaving, pack your bags, and we just left the next day. Um, so within 24 hours owning this van, we were headed on our way to Colorado. Uh, so about this van here, it is pretty vintage, as you can see. I love the leather interior here. Um, it does have a fold-out bed here as well. So for the trip, it was very comfortable and uh, you know, I can go ahead and show you some features about this here. Um, so we did go out in the desert there and it does get very hot. So one of the best things there were these awesome windows. So you can just pop these windows out. Pop the back ones out as well. And then we also have these blinds here. Just, you know, pull down, pull up, super easy. And you know, this is pretty much our campsite right here. We headed out there. I, I did all the driving. We did a total of 7,500 miles, going from New Jersey to Colorado, to Utah, to Las Vegas, to California, New Mexico, back to Colorado, and then I beelined it straight to Nashville, Tennessee to catch the 4th of July fireworks, which was unbelievable. Um, so step on in here. So up front here, we have the captain's chairs. They are, let me tell you, the most comfortable chairs ever. You're pretty much just driving on a living room chair, hanging out. Um, so this thing has cruise control as well. Uh, so currently right now it's 197, 406 miles on it. It does average about 14 miles per gallon when we were driving it cross country. I was pretty impressed with this thing, it was amazing. Uh, it does have AC, does have heat, old classic radio with a little bit of speakers in the back as well. And, uh, you know, two cup holders here, got the old fashioned cigarette lighter and ashtray. And then above here, we have our electrical on and off system. And uh, you just turn these on and then you turn on your lights, your water pump and all that. So that was very cool. Good to have there. And uh, with this having the Viking top, it does give you a little extra height. So as you see right here, it's pretty flat. But up here, you got a little more room. I can almost stand up tall, but not all the way there. So sitting here is very comfortable. Um, up here, we do have the classic pop-out windows as well. So you have <clears throat> you know, the normal window here, and then this one's a lifesaver. Pop it out, bang, wind comes right in. So that's very good there. And uh, during this cross-country road trip, I sat here, my grandpa sat here, and on occasion, we would alternate where we slept. Uh, most of the nights he slept here because I was the driver, I was doing most of the driving, you know? No, uh, we switched a lot. So this chair folds down super low. So it's actually very comfortable. So we slept one slept there, and then another one slept here as well. And uh, the van does have a little bit of secret compartments and all. Uh, right here, you know, you can have like a CD player like the other side has, or you know, any type of storage. There used to be an old box TV here. Um, I have that at home. I don't want that in there. A little outdated, but right here is the VCR player. Pretty classic there. And then I got some more storage. So you can put all your, you know, your clothes in here. And then we have the lights. So there are a total about eight separate lights in here you can use. So either you can plug in the outside to the power. These windows are pretty cool. They slide open. And also for your privacy, these can just get pulled right down and right up. Um, so then when you're having, when you're having breakfast, after you wake up there, you know, you can sit here, have a bowl of cereal. You can cook as well. And uh, when you're done, you know, you can take it out, no problem. And then <clears throat> with that, um, you have to 
keep your food cold and all. So there is a little fridge in here as well. Uh, so if you want to get in here and check that out. All right. All right, so it does have this fridge. So it keeps all, everything cold there. Has a little freezer part here for ice cubes and all. Um, that's pretty convenient there. And another convenient thing is the microwave. So that was perfect when you're out there. Um, on our road trip, we had a lot of ramen noodles, mac and cheese, hot pockets, you know, anything to get, get by there. Um, and then also, you know, we have a mirror there and uh, speakers there as well. So like I mentioned, the front has um, a stereo system there and we have the two speakers back here. So it does get pretty bumping here. I'm very impressed for 1995 as well. Um, so with the, you know, the fridge here, we have the microwave, uh, extra storage here as well. So we have a coffee, whole, you know, coffee maker up here. And uh, kitchen counter here, you remove this. And we have the kitchen sink here. We have hot water and cold water. All right. And then also in our drawers here, this is where I hold plates, forks, spoons. And then this drawer here, pots and pans. So you say, why well, do I have pots and pans without a stove? So this one doesn't have a built-in stove, but what I did was I have a, a cooker in the back here. This is a camper chef cooker. So I will just prop this up either outside or on the table there and it cook. It has the oven on the bottom and two burners up top. So that's really convenient there. And then, <clears throat> so over here are all your outlets, your 12 volt outlet to plug in, um, on and off hot water heater, um, you know, just turn everything on and off as well. Over here you have your thermostat and, uh, you know, AC or heat on and off. Um, above here we do have a little vent, so you can just ravel that up and the top part will raise and you can turn the fan on as well to get some more circulation when you're cooking or after, you know, you use the bathroom or anything like that. <laughs> um, so with this table here, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. All right, this goes down. This gets stored under there, and I put this in the back. And then, <clears throat> pretty cool feature is, like I mentioned, when you go to sleep, you can just ravel this down, and bang. Pretty comfortable for sleeping there. All right, and then another cool feature about this is there is storage underneath here. So this is where you have your, you know, your water box there, your water pump, um, battery down there, hot water heater, all that good stuff, uh, storage. Now I like to keep extra oil just because it's a you know older vehicle. It does eat a little bit of oil after a while, which is pretty normal. Uh, not too much. Just I check it every thousand miles. Maybe add a little bit there. Um, so with that, going back here, I do have this drawer here. You know this is where I keep garbage bags. All right. And then back here is one of the pretty cool parts. This is your privacy shade here. So this can just go back out all the way around. It can ravel it up. And that'll be your privacy shade so when you need to use the bathroom. So right here is the toilet. Pretty hidden. Take this off. Lift it up. Go to the bathroom. Flushes that away. So that's really convenient. Also has the waste tanks outside and all. You have your, uh, your toilet paper and cleaners back here. So that's pretty convenient when you're on the road trip there. And also when my grandpa and I were out west, you know, you have to have enough clothes to last about 20 days or so. So what I did is um, there is already clothes hangers, like the hanger here. So this is where you hang up your clothes and all. Also on the other side, there's one as well. And then down here, we have your electrical fuse box and panels. So you just open this right up and you know, you can reset your fuses, make sure everything's going good for the water pump, auxiliary and all of that. So that's a really good feature there. You don't have to worry about you know gasoline for a generator this actually does have just this inverter here ran off the battery as well and then so this table when you're done cooking with it you would just put it right in the back here and then you have these straps here that go across and then just secure it there as well um, so it doesn't fly around when you're driving and then yeah so outside here i'll show you the waste and water pumps and plugins as well um, so when you get out of the vehicle here like at campsite, we actually set up some chairs here, had the cooker going, and you know, one of my favorite parts is the trailer hitch here with the hook, just in case you have to pull someone out, or I was also thinking if I'm out there to find a cool project, maybe I'll pick up a U-Haul trailer and trailer at home. 
but I didn't have didn't find much anything too cool out there. So on the back here, I have the spare tire, and then also have my Rubicon JK logo. Um, so the school bus with the Jeep on the back, Rubicon JK. I always have to represent that. And then on the side here, we have our sewer hose. And the sewer hose connects down here, and you pull this, and this gets rid of your waste. I do have, you know, gray water down there, and then also your gas tank, of course. I put 93 in it, give it a little treat. This is your electrical system where you just plug in. Pretty neat there. Uh, this is just portable sanitizer and cleaning things for when you're using all that. And like I mentioned, the Chevy G30. This van is awesome, and it literally just hauls. I took it out in Colorado up, up Pikes Peak and down Pikes Peak, and this thing just ate it all the way up and all the way down. Um, this van is epic. <laughs> all right, um, so this is the camper van, and then the main project would be my school bus here. Uh, this project you guys might have seen already on the channel. It's one of my you know, favorite projects ever. It's a great hauler and pretty neat. So if you want, I can also show you that. This used to, for the viewers that haven't seen it yet. So this is a, a 2001 Thomas Freightliner. It was a full-size school bus, and I did cut it in half, bring the back door up and move it up. The back does haul my Jeep. It can also be used as a pickup truck, like when I mulched my house there. I put a tarp on it, put a whole bunch of tons of mulch on there. You put the kayaks on there, you know, ATVs, all that good stuff. It has a Cat Diesel 3126. Now the Allison transmission, it does have air brakes and it's also titled as an RV. Um, so, you know, you don't need a special license. And the inside here was done by me and my dad. My dad and I did that and my friends and I painted the exterior. And, you know, come on in. I have the side panels here. <clears throat> so this is the motorhome, the toter home. So this is where, you know, I sleep when I'm on, going on vacation, on the trails, towing the Jeep. Uh, it's perfect space. I have wood floors, have the couch there. Um, I also have running water in this as well. So if you want to come around here, we have, you know, a sink here. And also the closet is extremely long. So if you do need to take a shower, open up the window and put that out there. And I have a water, similar to the van, it has a water pump. So I have the water pump there. I connect the water pump to this jet ski battery here. And then it goes into these eight gallon water tanks here. And you know, turn it on, bang, you got water. Uh, countertop here, you know, storage, all that good stuff. Um, also, you know, the top here is good for, you know, upper cabinetry. The blinds for extra privacy has a full-size bed in the back. Uh, this one does not have a refrigerator like the other one, but it does have a Yeti cooler, so it keeps your food cold pretty long. <clears throat> All right. And then this is the futon with the 8-inch memory foam, extremely comfortable. And I also left the bottom open for storage, so I have, you know, my toolbox under here as well on the right toolbox there. My power tools here, you know, broom. So there's plenty of room there. And uh this bus hauler is pretty awesome. Um, so above here, I have the paneling. Uh, I personally love that look of the dark black and gray. So this is what we did here. I, you know, rounded out wrong there. The bus is fully insulated as well. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you the flatbed. <clears throat> All right, so this is the school bus. You know, like I mentioned, we cut the back end off and this was the back door that was on the back. You know, cut it, carried it up, you know, put it underneath the top there so it's all waterproof, you know, put it back in, and then did all the metal in the back to make it extremely strong um, for my Jeep there. So this is, you know, heavy duty diamond plate, and my Jeep goes right up here, no problem. This can hold a ton of weight, and also have 14 foot aluminum ramps. Those go right off the back, and you can load up any type of vehicle there. So you might see the sticker, it says Beat Not Babied. That's because uh, my Jeep goes in the back here, and when I go on the trails, you know, I beat the heck out of my Jeep. That's what it's built for. So that just reminds you, you know, just go out there and send it and have a good time. Um, so you, some people ask, you know, what's going on with your taillights and all? This bus does have LED strip lights. So this has your blinkers, your brake lights, your running lights. Also have a backup camera here. And also I have side lights here. So you have the side strip there. 
people can see you on both sides, all sides around and the exterior there. Um, so that's the school bus there. And this is the van here. Feel free to, you know, check out my Instagram, Rubicon JK, YouTube, Instagram, Rubicon JK, and uh, TikTok there as well. Thank you very much for coming back to the channel. Give yeah. us a tour of the coachman. I remember the day you bought this. And I was looking on Instagram like, yeah. man, that is a find. That is a classic Chevy van Absolutely. with a, a camper conversion done to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a survivor. Mm -hmm. And I love the story. I love the story that you took your grandfather on his right. cross country trip. Yeah, yeah. Was that like in discussions for a while? And uh, and right. you, you had trouble renting an RV? Is that what? Right, the right. Story yeah. Is? So I really wanted to go on a cross country road trip. Um, I graduated college in end of May, and I was like, oh, I have a month before I start my new job. I want to go out there and travel. So my grandpa and I looked at it. We talked about it. We had a path. We were going to go up to, you know, Washington, Oregon, and do the, the top west. And uh, pretty much, yeah, our, our RVs were like $3,000 to rent for the week. And then you have to fly out there, and plane tickets were expensive. So it was, it was out of our budget to go. So I really wanted to do it. Won a lifetime opportunity. And I was like, hmm, why don't I just buy a camper and we go? So I was lucky enough to find this gem here uh, for my neighbor up the road. Purchased it and went cross country and never regret it. It was the best trip ever and best decision. So this van is epic. And I like how you just jumped in it and, and went. Yeah. And, and and for me, getting in my Airstream travel yeah. trailer, I spent two years renovating. Right, right. I spent like three nights camping in my driveway, testing <laughs> everything out yeah, to make, make sure, sure it worked. Good, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you just went and that that's an awesome story yeah. because sometimes uh you just got to go with it right right yeah it was you know you never know what's going to happen there um checked the oil make sure it was good it was freshly changed right before i bought it uh, brought extra oil brought you know things just in case anything happened but luckily absolutely nothing happened on the road trip until i was two hours away back home from new jersey and my back left tire blew out when i was going 75 and swerved a little bit got it back to the tire shop put a new tire on it and drove home the next day so yeah, this van's great. Now, a lot of viewers are probably gonna question, mm -hmm. does this fit on the back <laughs> of your hauler? All right, um, so I wanna say it would fit, but it currently does not fit right now because it's so narrow. I do have to have these ramps out. So it would fit if I extended this back part here. I just have to move this over about another six inches or so. It's because the van's a little more narrow than my Jeep, but it would fit technically, but right now it does not fit. But maybe soon to come, I'll put it on the back. And it always seems like you have a new project going on. Right, is, right. is there anything in the horizon? Right, absolutely. So, you know, you see these two projects. I do have another project up and coming. I did just purchase another school bus. It's a full-size school bus. And that is my new and upcoming project. Um, so with new projects coming, you do have to get rid of old projects so you can move on and build something else. And, you know, also running out of space around my property here. Um, so this school bus here, um, the school bus toy hauler here, will be going for sale. I will be putting up for sale pretty recently here because um, I do want to get moving on the new bus build. The new bus, I'm going to do full size, go full bathroom, full kitchen. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to have rooftop deck, solar panels. I'm painting it desert tan. So that's my next build that's coming up. So this will be getting posted for sale pretty soon here. And for the viewers, if you're interested in purchasing it, please feel free to mess DM me on Instagram. And I'm more than happy to give you the details and go about that as well. Well, excellent news here. Uh, one follow-up question on your new project. Yep. Uh, how tall are you? Um, about 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. Yeah. Are you doing a raised roof? Are you able to right. survive so, with the right. standard? Um, so the school bus I actually purchased is a 2005 and actually has a slightly taller roof than this one. So with shoes on, I actually have like half an inch to spare. So on that one, I'm not going to be raising the roof. I'm just going to, you know, live it like it is and be comfortable like that. Um, but yeah. Well, excellent. I'll make sure I link to your Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Right. This is Patrick yep. with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube oh, channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.